Hey everyone, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Spyro the Dragon. Anyway, let's just get this show on the road. Start a new game. That's my practice file, there's my completed file. Yep, I want to overwrite that. Sparkly letters. Shiny. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now, I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. That does it. Looks like I've got some things to do. Yes, you do, Spyro. Yes, you do. Looks like all the other dragons are screwed for now, though. The adventure begins. Why can't you fly like that normally, Spyro? Anyway, uh, this is the uh, regular home world. Before we get started, I have to fix the frickin' camera. <sighs> there we go. Let's talk to this guy. Nestor. Nestor. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Man, I hate Spyro's original voice actor. <sighs> so, yeah. We take control of Spyro. We can jump and glide and square to charge. Circle for a nice little flame breath. I already got an extra life here. Pretty much the object of the game is stop walking the hedge, Spyro, is to uh, kill things, collect treasure, make it to the end. It's sort of a platforming game, I guess. I am just awful at the controls right now. Ugh. Something doesn't feel quite right. Spyro, get up there. Yeah, this is the first of, I think, six homeworlds. And one of them is Nasty Nork's world. Oh, look, another dragon. Tomas. Hey, Spyro! Uh, press the jump button twice to glide. And, and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Well then, that was encouraging. Friggin' thief nort. They're just slightly more resilient than the regular foot soldiers. No ramming your heads in a wall head into walls, Spyro. Tongue tied. There's one of the levels we'll be visiting soon, as, as soon as we take care of the home world. When we press triangle, you drop from the sky, and funny thing, uh, when I was little. The first Spyro game I ever played was Spyro 2 because I was 8 and my parents didn't understand the concept of sequels. I didn't even, you know, know what that game was. I just got a PlayStation. I was super excited, but about a year later when I got this game, I would press triangle trying to do the little glide move he has in later games and I just fall down and that led to never ending frustration because I continually forgot that he doesn't have it in this game. Once you get used to it, it's okay. You, know, you can do okay enough to get around without it, but you know, it's 
something I really relied on in the games that followed this. Hey, come here. There's another one. Let's go get that dragon. Delbin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Oh yeah, I always forget about Sparks. Sparks is your health meter in this game. He has three colors. Gold is full health. Blue is, uh... Two hits left. Green is one hit left. Then he disappears and you're on your own. If you get hit again, you're dead. And sometimes the death animations of this game, although cartoony, if you think about them, are gruesome. At least if one in particular that I'm thinking of is even in this game. Oh, hey, the balloonist. Hello, good sir. Okay, whatever. So we gotta get ten dragons for sure before we can uh, run off and have further adventures. I think there's one more area in the home world that we can check out. Yeah. Woohoo! Wait, what? 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 Okay. What the fuck? Missing a gem. Gonna be FCD about this. This is only slightly humiliating. No, I don't think it's that way. I'm confused. Maybe it is this way. There it is. Problem solved. Now that I'm done going out of my way, let's go back to that uh, other dragon. Right in front of that big smoke and dragon face. Argus. Cool flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, I think that's enough for an introductory episode. We got all the dragons, we got all the gems in the homeworld. So, uh, next time we're gonna head out and actually do something, so, uh, See you then, you guys.